Hello and welcome back to a very sick James White Dragon. I'm here with the scientist of the decade, Mr. Ethan, for another episode of Mashed Up Yu-Gi-Oh! But this time we have a first place deck profile. That's right, this Mashed Up Yu-Gi-Oh! deck has been tested and has won. So Ethan, what have you done? I've done what every self-respecting man this format has done. I have bought rebranded structure decks and tried to shove it in as many things as I possibly can. I got myself the Despia stuff and Relinquish stuff and I thought well the Relinquish stuff you can summons why don't we give that a go and it turned out amazing is the only word I can use to describe it. It's so much fun to play as well. You've never watched your opponent cry as they read Millennium Eyes Restrict for the first time. <laughs> well let's go through the deck. We've got Lib. This is run at one just to get your banished Mirror Jade back. It's part of your standard Despia combo. Why are we running Albion the Shrouded Dragon? This lad dumps a branded spell trap from deck to grave as cost to put him straight to the bottom of the deck and you draw one Jester of Despia three of these guys Aluba is your absolute boy any card that says search branded fusion is good so we play three of it two Despian tragedy so I was running this at three but I had to cut it because it just keeps bricking me but you also mm. have to play it because it searches Aluba so you're playing three Aluba two tragedy and then uh, three branded fusion so they're just always to get into branded fusion because it's the best card in the deck Drama he's a free summon of a 3k meat stick he's good when you're pushing for game so I run him just in case as well we've already gone through Alibur and we're using tragedy search if we don't need the ad lib it's a good search to grab because it can be a free body then we got two effects Vela just needed light targets in case I ever wanted to actually make Albion every game I've sided them out so I'd probably take them out of main but I mean it's a hand trap it does its job if you draw it one fairy tale snow yeah that was my other the light target again I had a space and it hasn't really helped me again I side it out mostly because it doesn't really do a lot but I get why it's run and to be honest it saved me I hard drew it and normal summon it flipped a mirror jade face down it was nice. beautiful double albaz well you gotta run it for branded fusion and I'm not playing a pure despia branded list I've got the relinquished stuff in there as well so I don't really want to see it it's just to dump off branded fusion plus you've got so many ways to search this card you don't need three three millennia Illusionist. It's my other hand trap. So if you hard draw your Relinquished Fusion and Relinquished, then you can dump this from deck with Branded Fusion to make Lubelion. And then when you summon your Millennium Eyes Restrict, this will add itself from Grave to Hand. And it's essentially another negate. So quick effect, discard it, target a monster your opponent controls, equip it to a Millennium Eyes. And then because it's equipped, its effects get negated. So it turns Millennium Eyes into two negates. Relinquished himself. Originally, I was playing the Ritual spell and some pre-preps but I never once actually wanted to ritual summon it. Like, so I was playing two ritual spell, two of this, and then some pre-preps, but I cut the ritual spell because it just doesn't do anything. It's really a brick. I never use it. I just want relinquished so I can go into the fusion monster. Our lovely Tribrigade hand trap. I was playing three, but I cut one because it's a brick if you draw it in multiples. It's really good with a lore because you can banish it, and when it's banished, it will search you Albion, and Albion will send branded sword, the trap to grave, and then you banish sword to add the material back to your hand so you don't off of a law and you can search this off branded lost as well so you don't need three copies bearing in mind the first copy you banish will get added back to your hand with sword if sword is in deck speaking of allure of darkness we have three here oh this card is just so cracked for this deck you banish tragedy you get to search aluba which is just free you banish mercury you get to search albion which again is just absolutely free and if you banish any of your relinquished bits you don't really mind because you're playing three and three three branded fusion itself anyone who said fusion summon from deck was a good idea is on crack <laughs> you've been the restrictions on red ice fusion and this card just just has none of that. Branded Lost. Tell us about that, Ethan. Uh, so Branded Lost is essentially Meltdown. So your fusion summons can't be negated, can't respond. Absolutely brilliant. But for some reason, they decided when you fusion summon, give you a search. So because your combo set's branded in red, on your turn when you fusion summon, you can search your Albion. So you can get the dump and the extra draw. And on your opponent's turn, if you fusion summon using branded in red, you can search Mercuria, which when it gets you your Mirror Jade back, becomes a live hand trap because you control a monster that lists Albaz. To your branded opening. So this is is the only thing I can see everyone going, why aren't you playing three? Why aren't you playing three? I don't own three, which is why I run the Foolish Burial. The Foolish Burial would be a third opening if I had one, but I don't. This card summons Aluba from deck. Again, it's another copy of Branded Fusion. It's just good. Yeah. But it pairs really well with Instant Fusion 
Um, activate instant fusion at the start of your combo to summon millenniumize. So if your opponent goes to hand trap you, you can eat at least one of them. But instant fusion would destroy millenniumize during the end phase. You can banish open so it isn't destroyed, so it will stick around on your opponent's turn, which is really, really nice. Then we got the two branded in red. A quick play spell that lets you fusion summon is good anyway, but a spell that lets you add a monster from grave to your hand before you fusion summon. <laughs> Resolving this spell properly nets you mirror jade back on board and a free search, which is just ridiculous. It nets you chimera as well, so you get pop two, draw one, or pop one, draw two. And then the tragedy that you banish gets you a search, and the ad lib that you banish summons your mirror jade from banish zone back. The foolish peril. It sends anything. Sending tragedy or foolish props it, so you get your search of alibra as well. So again, foolish is another copy of branded fusion. Then we have instant fusion. I was sat there with 39 cards and went, what do I put in? And I went, oh yeah, I'm running the best instant fusion target in the game. Drawing instant fusion has won me games because slapping this down and being able to eat an ash on your branded fusion and stuff like that is just incredible. Relinquish fusion times three. Absolutely brilliant card because it's a quick play as well. This has allowed me to play around cards like D barrier because uh. if I've got relinquished access, I can just set it and do it on my opponent's turn. It gives me at least some level of play. But if if I hard open, relinquished, relinquished fusion and Mercuria, I can activate it, banishing them both from my hand, summon Millenniumize, and then Mercuria gets me the search because relinquished fusion banishes, so I can search the Albion. We got branded blade. So its on field effect has come up exactly once to banish branded spell traps to summon two five attack point tokens, which is just incredible because the amount of spells you banish is the amount of tokens you get. So I can just get a board of two five yeah. beat sticks. But you're mainly dumping it off Albion to get you your Makura back. So you've got that live hand trap. To infinite impermanence. Yeah, because I had space again. It could be any card you want, but I had the imperm, so I put them in. Moving over to extra debt, Albion the Branded Dragon to start things off. I have made Albion exactly once, and it was only because I could. But you mainly use it to dump off Mirror Jade for your combo, because during the end phase, it will set your Branded in red. So you can make Chimera on your opponent's turn. Lend the Abyss Dragon. He is a very good boy. He's my second Mirror Jade dump target, really. So on my opponent's turn, when I ad lib get my Mirror Jade back, I dump this and then either search Branded Fusion or he can search Instant Fusion, which has come up and won me a fair few games. It's been nice. Despian Quintaris. Being able to make all non-level seven or higher fusion monsters attack point zero is just really, really good. And you can easily make this off Branded in Red if you don't want to go for Chimera or you've already got gone for Chimera. It's a very good tool to help you OTK. Guardian Chimera itself. So making this on your opponent's turn is just absolutely incredible, especially with what you banish. Typical combo is banishing Aluba from field and Tragedy and Adlib from hand to summon this. So you can go chain one Chimera to pop one, draw two, chain two, Tragedy to search you and, and Aluba for next turn, and then chain three, Adlib to special summon your banished Mirror Jade back. It's just an incredible card, and it's 3,300 attack man. It's yeah, huge. The Searing Dragon times two. I was told to originally play one, but I summoned it once and got negated and I was like oh I don't have another one so I can't dump any dark targets from deck anymore and it was really sad so now I play two but he shuffles back to fusion summon so he's going to make your mirror jade he can also shuffle back a relinquished and any other effect monster to summon millenniumize masquerade the blazing dragon I run one because if your opponent goes to cosmic you're branded in red because you set it and your opponent knows that you've set it if they go to cosmic it you, you don't want to make your chimera because it's a waste you don't have anything to pop uh, so you chain it you add back your tragedy you make masquerade with tragedy and ad lib you still get your mirror jade back you still get your search of Aluba, and now your opponent's burning 600 every time they want to activate a card effect millennium eyes restrict I would be playing three but I don't have three so I put the anima in there instead it eats hand traps it can get up to obscene amounts of attack if you play it right as well and it's kind of the best card in the relinquished engine yeah. you've got the player to mirror jade the ice blade dragon non-target banish of a monster is always going to be good especially when it sends a card from extra deck as cost why are all these cards as cost to send is ridiculous and its effect to destroy all monsters if it leaves the field due, due to an opponent's card effect means that it's not hard to out but it's hard to out in a way that isn't going to leave you with nothing we have predator plant dragosapelia i have made this card more with lubelion 
really? than I have with Mega Poly. Because using one fusion monster and one dark monster, and then being able to quick effect with something a predator counter and negate it, is surprisingly good. The one relinquished anima. It's cheesy. It did save me in one game having it in there, but yeah, personally I would cut it for a third millennium eyes. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. It's realistically it's there for Super Poly, right? But still being able to make it off Rebellion or Albion is good. Is there to deal with other Despia related decks? Ash Dragon. This is almost a third dump target for Mirror Jade if your game gets that long. It can search or special you the Albaz. Sometimes I've looked at boards and instead of dumping Alba Lenitus, I've dumped this because I'm like, oh, during the end phase, special summon the Albaz. Super Poly with something to make my Mirror Jade. But having one of these in extra deck puts a lot of pressure on normal Albaz. Pitch one to Super Poly with something because your opponent looks at all their monsters with over 2,500 attack and goes ah and they need to respond otherwise you're either making your titanic lad or you're making your mirror jade and it's scary so side deck we have three gamma seal gamma seal good i like the removal especially since you get the odd people playing towers turbo and stuff like that make mm. make final sigma and you go ah great um and this is just an out to them really the uh, zombie world package with necro world's banshee and zombie world what's this for so we can send this uh we can send banshee off brand infusion to make lubelion and then banish it to activate the zombie world it really helped me in my game against plant link because they can't make their any of the link monsters mm. they all require plant um and it's to help ease the flunder matchup then we have the two cosmic cyclone and the harpy's feather duster back row removal i don't like floodgates as much as the next uh, self-respecting guy so mm -hmm. gotta deal with them and that's my way of dealing with them. Perfect. Now the most broken card of a printed super polymerization. What a beautiful card. Again, this is just to help other Despia branded anything branded, invoked, all that all that jazz. It's there to break boards going second. The two dimensional barrier. Saying no to fusions is is just good. <laughs> it's always gonna be good. Especially when a deck like Branded comes around. Mm. It's it's a card that comes in and out of side decks. I mean, it stops a deck like mine. If I don't have exactly Relinquished and Relinquished Fusion in hand, it will stop me for an entire turn. And that's yeah. enough to kill me. So, evenly matched. It's more back row removal. I don't like back row. Uh, it's really good against Eld Lich and stuff like that. Mm. Because set four, reveal Heavenly Prison. Cool. Yeah. evenly says hello and yeah, it's Spanish. yeah it's good fun to watch old lich players faces because they have to banish their skill drains face down because they want to keep their <laughs> lord on board well thank you guys so much and thank you even for showing us that deck i hope you all enjoyed it now if you'd like to see the duel for that let us know in the comments we'll do like a combo tutorial for you guys well Big thanks to you, Ethan, and if you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing. We both like to apologise for being ill during this video, but we wanted you to see this deck as soon as possible. Uh, Ethan, what's your word of the video? Albaz. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Your turn.